Okay, I took a minute to throw all my apples into my box, but notice how they're overflowing the box and they don't look like they're in the box. Your first option for cleaning up the edge of your container, and again, this is not a requirement for this skills practice. If you don't want to do this, you should choose one of the two containers that you can put all of the fruit and the vegetables and the flowers behind the container. Um, but if you want to, you can grab the eraser tool, which is about halfway down your tools panel, and then you can start to erase. Now my eraser is very small, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to hit my right bracket key to make it bigger. You can see it's getting really big now. You can also change the size of your eraser on the options bar at the top of your screen. So right here there's a drop down that says 125 and it's kind of fuzzy. That's telling me the size of my brush is 125 and the hardness uh, on the brush is 14%. For this assignment, you probably want to have a very high hardness. You want a straight line so that when you erase, so I'm on the Apple 3 copy layer here. If I erase this apple, I get a straight line. Obviously, I want to do a better job, but I don't want to have a fuzzy edge. I want it to have a nice crisp line. And so your first option for erasing the edge of your shapes is to get a brush that's relatively small and to slowly start to erase the shape and you'll have to do this one at a time for practice and do little brush strokes so do a little bit and stop and a little bit and stop because if you go too far if you do edit undo or command or control Z you only have to undo a little bit and then you can try again and so this is one option and I can go through and once I'm happy with that apple I will turn that apple off and I'll find the next one. So I need to find that one there. Select the layer that you want to erase. And now I can, whoops, I grabbed the wrong layer. That's apple for copy. And then I can quickly get rid of this outer stuff. It's when I get close to the edge that I want to be careful. And always let go of the mouse so that if you go too far, you can undo and you don't have to re redo everything you just have one or two brush strokes that are left okay now this is um as you get better at photoshop it's not the best way to achieve what you're trying to do so let me show you a better way which is also another option and you do not have to use it unless you want to i'm going to turn all of my apples off and i'm going to use my container layer to make a selection if you press the space bar down on your keyboard, it becomes a hand and you can click and drag. And so what I want to do is I want to make a selection of everything except for the inside air quotes of the container, right? There are selection tools on your tools panel. If you push and hold the third tool down, you get the lasso and the polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool for this. The polygonal lasso tool allows you to click, 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 click to make a selection. And so I want to erase everything that would fall over the edge of the box. And so I'm going to come through here and see how I clicked once. Now I have this line. I'm going to come all the way down to this little bracket here and click, 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 click all the way around the shape. You can zoom in and do a better job than I'm doing. I'm just doing a rough selection. Press the space bar, it switches to the hand tool and you can pan, and then you can come around. And what I want to do is I want to make a big rough selection that goes outside of this area. I'll press the hand tool to pan again. And then when you come back to the very first place that you clicked, you'll see a little circle. I'm going to click on that. And now I have what's called a marquee, or sometimes it's called marching ants. And now, whatever I do, if I grab a paintbrush and I try to paint, I can only do it inside of the selection. So if I wanted to erase, I could turn my layers on, and then I can use the selection to only be able to erase up to the line that I created. And so if I'm going to toggle the eyeballs on and off to find the layers, so this apple, if I want to erase the front of that apple, I'll select Apple Layer 2, grab the Eraser tool, and now when I erase, I don't have to be careful. 
because it will only erase up to that line. And then I can toggle another apple and then erase up to that line. Be careful that you don't come down here and erase stuff that you don't want. We'll toggle this one. I don't need to erase anything on apple three copy or apple one copy. And I'm just gonna toggle until I find another apple that needs to be erased. And this guy here that we were erasing before, apple four copy, I can quickly hold the space bar to pan, erase the edge of the apple. And then I can see that I missed a little spot on this guy and I can erase that as well. Now when I zoom out, it appears that my apples are inside my container. Use Command or Control D to deselect your selection, and now the apples look like they're inside the container. In the last video in this series, I'll show you how to use some layer effects and layer blending modes if you'd like to experiment with those.